Hi everyone, FIFA Career Gems here. Thanks for tuning into my channel today and welcome to my training guide. Something I've used religiously throughout FIFA 16, FIFA 17 and now in FIFA 18. And there you can see the date it was first published over on my Twitter page, the 8th of January. 2016 making it just over two years old now the first player I managed to achieve good results with over on FIFA 16 was Hector Bellerin the Arsenal right back there you can see he's 24 years of age massive 96 rated the highest overall I managed to achieve over on FIFA 16 was Richard Libozoa the central midfielder 24 years of age 98 rated and look at them insanely good attributes and the progress continued through into FIFA 17 when Ryan Sessegnon was added via a weekly squad update. I took no time at all in achieving a 93 rating at still only 20 years of age. My favourite player I've ever trained up though is Ibrahim Sangare from Toulouse. The central defensive midfielder, 24 years of age. He only had an 80 potential, but look at that overall, 95! Leon Goretzka, he's got good starting all-round attributes anyway, so the 96 overall was the easiest one I managed to achieve. Gianluigi Donnarumma, the AC Milan goalkeeper, 23 years of age, a massive 98 rated, all his goalkeeping attributes are 99, it's just that poor agility that prevented a 99 overall rating. But after months and months of toiling away, I did achieve a 99 rated player, Renato Sanchez, again a central midfielder, look at them insane attributes, and I was very happy with my achievement. So how do we achieve such high rating results? It's very easy, and I'll try and break it down as well as I can for you. The first thing we're going to do is to decline to participate in the pre-season tournament. This will give us more time for training sessions. So into the training. Once you've decided on the player you're going to be training up, we need to try and develop training sessions of all difficulty gold drills all for the same player. So the difficulty gold drills are dribble possession, bucket up, defending endurance, advanced defending, through the gates, lofted through passing and attacking scenarios. Also, at the bottom of the passing tab, you will find advanced crossing. In the shooting tab, you will find volley performance. And in set pieces, you will find advanced free kicks and advanced penalties. One thing that stands FIFA 18 alone in training, it makes it better than the other two games, in my opinion, is the presets. Now, you can say presets, meaning we've not got to jump back in and recreate different training sessions for the players as we did in FIFA 16 and FIFA 17. So presets have been a godsend for FIFA 18 training. So let's have a look at the presets I've saved for Renato Sanchez. Preset number one, all gold difficulty hard drills, dribble possession, defending endurance through the gates, attacking scenarios and advanced free kicks. And in preset number two, lofted through passing, dribble possession, advanced defending, Volley performance and advanced free kicks. These are all difficulty hard drills. Simulate all. I've not got the time to play these drills. I've not got the skill to play these drills. So I simulate all. And as you've seen from the beginning of the video, I've achieved pretty good results by simulating my drills. So this is very important, you need to keep your eye on the day's remaining counter in the training window when you're simulating to your next match. So day's remaining, as soon as it reaches number one, stop simulation quickly so you don't lose any of your training days. Jump into the next session, load up your preset and simulate all again. And if you re do this repeatedly, you will start to see that overall rating shoot up pretty quickly now this is very important so that I reiterate all the time save your game very regular intervals what this does if your player was to get injured all that progress it will be lost so if you save it jump on a previous save and you've not lost nearly as much of that progress or all that time you might have wasted so the reason for choosing Sanchez is a central midfielder which means all Pretty much all these attributes can be trained apart from two, strength and pace. There's only one way you can increase strength and pace and that is by giving them 
as much game time as possible. So when your player achieves a rating that you think is first team quality, stick him in your first team. And that way, his strength and his pace will creep up little by little. The rest of his attributes can be trained, making central midfielders or central defensive midfielders the perfect victims to use in your training drill so if you want to achieve a 99 rated Sanchez like I did you need to use a young player a central midfielder ideally and someone with good natural strength and good starting pace and you never know you could achieve that 99 rated player with a bit of perseverance and patience so I hope you found this helpful let me know how you get on and as always thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my YouTube uploads. FCG out.